In a GOP primary defined by youthful and outspoken candidates, Russell Prescott is offering a more traditional New Hampshire approach. The businessman, former state senator and executive counselor, brings to the race an extensive track record of winning elections and a core of support with deep roots in the 1st Congressional District. I've gotten endorsements from uh, you know, Stella and Doug Scammon, also from Norm Major, a very good, respected Republicans in this area. In Washington, Prescott says he'd be a vote against higher spending and for defending gun rights. What about something like expanded background checks? Would you support those? I would also, I would not support something that is against the, the Constitution of our, our uh, United States. While he describes himself as pro-life, Prescott says he'd vote against any restriction on abortion that comes before Congress because he says the Supreme Court specifically left that issue to the states. I'd take that stand to make sure that the, the closest contact and who's going to be making those decisions is closest to the people, and that would be the state legislature the, uh, and also our governor. Prescott says he's been too busy campaigning to watch any of the January 6th attack congressional hearings. In these hearings, the former Attorney General Bill Barr testified that he believed it seemed that then-President Trump had, quote, detached from reality over his claims of election fraud in the 2020 election. Do you think that given that kind of testimony and what we've heard in these hearings, that former President Trump should still be the standard bearer of the Republican Party? Again, I've been concentrating on my campaign, and I can say this, that as an executive counselor, I did vote to accept the votes that came in from New Hampshire. In Kingston, Adam Saxton, WMUR News 9.